Now in this video, I'm going to explain what linear regression channels are, why I personally use them when I do my charting, and how to interpret this indicator to make better informed trades. Now to explain it as simple as I can, linear regression channels are a form of technical analysis in which analyze both price and time to compute a statistical representation of what trend a stock is doing. Now, I personally enjoy using linear regressions in my charting because it's very objective. I say this because sometimes as traders, when we look over charts, we may see a candle forming a hammer shape and we might think, hey, you know, the stock is bullish, but actually it might not be. And candles can sometimes be interpreted several different ways and sometimes it could lead to confusion. Now, with linear regression channels, there is zero subjectivity because it is literally just a statistical representation of data, right? Now I wanna hop into my laptop and show some real life examples using linear regression channels. But before we do so, I only ask for one thing in return and that is to gently tap that beautiful like button because it really does help with the YouTube algorithm. The more you guys like my videos on YouTube, the more YouTube will consider recommending my videos and thus grow this channel and the more incentive I have to keep dropping gems on this channel. Because if I keep making videos and they don't get views, you know, I kinda have less motivation but if I drop some videos I get a lot of love I'll keep dropping more videos right it's just simple like that but with that being said let's go ahead and hop into my computer alrighty so now to make things simple we're only gonna focus on the orange lines on this video these are the linear regression channels that I'm referring to for this video everything else you see is not what I'm focusing on right because of course you got the actual uh, chart price patterns for the stock and then you have other indicators that I use for example you see that green line over here that's another indicator we're not gonna be talking about anything else but these channels right so basically how it works is that you see that it has this mean line is right it's like the average of what the you know stock price is doing right over a period of time now what I like about this indicator using linear regressions is that whatever aggregated periods you use it does change the data for example if we're looking at you know we're right now we're looking at a five-year one-day chart so this is how the uh, you know the linear channels look for this chart now if we go to a five-day five-minute you see that obviously it kind of changes right for the intraday trading right so i like that trades for the you know aggregated time periods that we're looking at now let's go back to looking at a larger time frame and the reason I'm primarily focusing on a larger time frame is just because once we go to a short time frame you see so much data on this chart you see you know I'm using the VWAP I'm using the EMA line SMA line there's just so much going on and I don't want to confuse you guys with all these squiggly lines you know if you guys want to learn more about this then definitely check out my other videos on this channel but for now let's kind of go to a farther time frame so that we could kind of look at things you know more easily right more clear so let's go at a five year um one day chart right now basically the way you would use linear regression channels is as a form of support and resistance right now i have a video talking about support and resistance so if you're unsure about that i would recommend you guys check that out but you know stocks you know they have supports and resistances and you could see that over here this area right here it had you know the major sell-off of the pandemic right this was basically early uh february late march and this is where you know things are at mid february late march right this is the whole sell-off that you know was crazy biggest drop in a long time right and we could see that drop was ooh, that was a crazy drop anyways you could see that the linear regression channel already factored that in as you know a support and you could see that it bounced the stock bounced off this area right and continued and then we went back to the middle line where now it acts as sort of a resistance and you can see that we're kind of you know having a hard time breaking this resistance area you see that we we haven't quite touched it we went down we almost touched it went down so again you know just like any other form of technical analysis you definitely have to take things with a grain of salt right like i said you want to wait for confirmation and validation right just because it touched this area does it mean that you should start buying into it because the stock is going to come up? No, this just means that most likely, based on previous data, previous price action, previous times, this most likely indicates that there is a chance uh, it will bounce from this area, right? But again, you know, with technical analysis, you got to take things with a grain of salt. Like I primarily focus on technical analysis trading. But I don't just buy just because it touched the bottom, right? You want to wait for that confirmation. And what do I mean by waiting for that confirmation? You want to wait to see that sign that, hey, it is bouncing up. And once you see that sign of, hey, it is bouncing up, then, you know, you could enter your position and take, you know, your, your position, right? 
So, you know, it's just a way of just uh, looking at things as a support and resistance levels with these, uh, you know, linear channel, you know, regressions, right? Or linear regression channels. Now, again, this could work for any aggregated periods of time. For example, we're looking at the five-year daily chart. We could see that, hey, this acted as a support, bounced off. Now, this is acting as a resistance. Now, let's go ahead and look at, like, let's say a... Uh, let's go ahead and look at a 20 day chart one hour right same thing you know you could pretty much see that around here it was pretty much close to resistance we had this sell off you know fell down above down here this acted as a support we bounced up this acted as a resistance we fell down then it broke through this area of resistance right so this is why i say don't just get in right away right just like i said earlier just because it touched the bottom do i get in no i'll wait for that sign that it is gonna definitely go up so let's kind of zoom in here because this is exactly perfectly what i'm saying so you can see based on previous times this was a resistance so most likely if this is a resistance the stock will go down right but you got to wait for that confirmation it touched this resistance and guess what it broke through it right so you would wait if this would you would give it time you wouldn't just go here and start selling for this to go down you know you would wait what's gonna happen right so since it didn't start going down it broke up guess what we're on a more bullish uptrend right then we rolled up to this area right here where it was approaching the resistance for this aggregated time period and guess what we fell down acted as a support kind of hovered above you know fell down acted as a support, uh, support hovered above right so again you know this pretty much explains perfectly what i always preach but let's go ahead and look at a smaller time period now again now that we're at a smaller time period you're gonna see um you know my other indicators right so i don't want to confuse you guys okay that's that's the main thing i don't want to confuse you guys um you know all these other lines we're not going to focus on that we're just going to focus on the price action which is the blue and green you know bars and the orange lines and actually let's go into even a smaller time frame let's look at the one day one minute chart so this is pretty much the smallest time frame that you could look at it's a very you know it's a it's a time frame that most intraday traders if they're really scalping will pretty much look at and we can see that you know again it does act as a support and resistance level you can see that at one point it hovered around here acted as a support started going up guess what it's almost approaching this resistance had to sell off um, and then, you know, again, touch this area of support, broke down, you know, touch this area of support, started going up. So that's pretty much how I use them. Again, with technical analysis, you, you know, you got to take things with a grain of salt. That's why I use a multitude of other indicators. Now, I don't recommend that you guys just flood your screen with a whole bunch of indicators. But um, I just like to use these indicators a lot. Like I said, I use the VWAP. I use the uh, linear channel, re linear regression channels. I use, you know, the EMA, the SMA, along with the RSI and the MACD. Now, I have videos covering all these on their indicators. But again, I don't reg recommend someone new to just, like, flood their charts with a bunch of indicators. I recommend that you kind of steadily increase until you find what works for you. If you feel like using the MACD isn't something that works for you, then, you know, you could go ahead and get rid of the MACD and, you know, focus on other indicators. But with that being said, guys, hopefully you guys like this video. Make sure to hit that like button. Also, I recommend that you guys check out the links in the description below because in the first link in that description is going to be a link to our free Facebook group. It's the Push and Profit Facebook group. And that group is really just a community of individuals interested in trading. And in that group, I typically release a nightly watch list of stocks that I am investing long term, of stocks that I'm focusing on trading. Uh, also, along with other, you know, trades that I might actually take you know advantage of now just because i list these stocks on this watch list does not necessarily mean that you have to buy those into those stocks i simply try to present opportunities that are present it's your job to see whether you see value in those opportunities and if you do you could take advantage of them if you don't see value in those opportunities you don't have to trade what i am trading right um that's just something that i just provide for the group also if you guys also check the other link in the description is a link to weeble it's a another trading platform that i use um and it's if you guys sign up and deposit 100 dollars, you guys will be eligible to receive one free stock valued up to sixteen hundred dollars and uh, when i first signed up with weeble i got a free share of google which was worth like one thousand two hundred i even made a whole video covering that topic but if you guys are interested definitely sign up with that link below so you guys could you know help me out and also get a free stock of your own to fund your trading and uh, with that being said guys again my name is justin from push and profit hope everyone's having a beautiful day and i'm out take care <music>